From a reality show star and podcaster to the owner of a clothing brand, Travis Kelsey has proven he can do a lot more than just catch footballs. It's hard to hear the name Travis Kelsey without thinking about his older brother, Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey. While the brothers are known for rooting each other on, their mother, Donna Kelsey, told Fox 4 they were very, very competitive from a very early age. Travis wanted his brother's attention. It appears that may have been the reason why Travis joined Jason in playing for the University of Cincinnati during college, too. The younger Kelsey bro explained to NFL Films, I've naturally always kind of followed his footsteps, and being on his team, it just made the most sense. That went on to benefit Travis more than he could have known, and he credits Jason for getting him back on the team after he was suspended for a positive recreational drug test. What makes the Kelseys even more unique, however, is that they are the first brothers to play against each other in the Super Bowl, with fans even dubbing Super Bowl 57 as the Kelsey Bowl. Let's go play your brother in the Super Bowl! If you're wondering if that's created tension, Travis admitted on the New Heights podcast. My entire time I've been like, I mean, that's... That's been the goal, is to play my brother in the Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey accomplished every NFL player's dream in early 2020 when his team, the Kansas City Chiefs, won the Super Bowl. The tight end was a key part in their victory, too, having made six catches for 43 yards and a touchdown. Travis was clearly proud. When asked about a previous season's loss at a press conference, he quipped, according to USA Today, We're the Super Bowl champs. You all can't tell me nothing. Of course, Travis's brother, Jason Kelsey, was in the stands cheering him on, despite his own team not making that particular Super Bowl. Jason explained to Sports Illustrated, seeing someone you love and care about accomplish their dreams is potentially more gratifying. Travis was confident that 2020 wouldn't be his last Super Bowl either. According to USA Today, Travis told the press, the dynasty is just starting, baby, motivated to do it again, for sure. It's understandable that Travis was disappointed with his next season, when the Chiefs failed to make it to the 2021 Super Bowl. Travis explained to Sirius XM NFL Radio, That's the type of player I am, man. If we're not going out there winning Super Bowls, man, the season isn't a success. A lot of fans may not know that Travis Kelsey was once a reality TV star. The NFL player starred on his own dating show in 2016 called Catching Kelsey, where he dated one woman from each of the 50 states. On the show, Kelsey claimed that he was tired of his past relationships not working out, saying, I feel like I came into this idea, this experience, this show, because I needed that change in my life. Yet, Kelsey later admitted on the Pivot podcast that he had actually done the show for financial reasons, because he had been overspending earlier in his career. He revealed on the podcast, I heard about this situation where I could make six figures in two weeks, and 50 ladies, I'm like, this is actually starting to sound a little better. However, it seems having his own series wasn't as fun as he thought. He recalled on the Pivot podcast, it was extremely awkward because I really didn't have much to say about what we were doing on the show. It looked like Kelsey did find love, or at least someone he liked, when he chose Maya from Kentucky as the winner. He stated on the show, I am so excited to be with Maya and see how we grow as a couple. The number one thing is did I find love on the on the show? Yeah. And um no, I did not find love on the show. While they didn't last, Kelsey doesn't necessarily regret the experience entirely because of what he did learn. He explained on the Pivot podcast, "I know that I'm not going back into reality TV." Travis Kelsey may not have found love on Catching Kelsey, but he did go on to date sports reporter and Instagram influencer Kayla Nicole soon after in 2017. Nicole made the first move after she noticed Kelsey liking her Instagram photos. She dished on her Instagram stories, all double taps and no DM. So, after a little liquid courage and a pep talk, I DM'd him on New Year's. Kelsey later made it clear they were together with his own since-deleted post where he referred to her as, quote, peanut butter to my jelly time. However, the couple split in 2020 with rumors that Kelsey had cheated. He denied those rumors in a since-deleted tweet. They ended up reconciling months later, with Kelsey saying Nicole was the absolute best during a live interview. Nicole later publicly supported his team, too, tweeting, If y'all wanted to see the Chiefs versus the refs, just say that. By January 2023, their relationship was over yet again. Kelsey revealed on the Pivot podcast that he was once again single. He also denied rumors that they split because he was cheap, saying, We were in a relationship for five years, a hundred dollars here and a hundred dollars there wasn't even thought about, which is ridiculous. 
It's safe to say that Rob Gronkowski was one of the most famous tight ends in the NFL, which is why it was a huge deal that he openly praised Travis Kelsey. Despite the two having been opponents before Gronk retired, the former Tampa Bay Buccaneers star called Kelsey the best player on the Chiefs offense in 2021, according to the NFL. He further explained to sports reporter Sam McDowell, I've never really seen this with any other player in the NFL ever before, is that Kelsey gets better every single year that I've seen him play in the NFL. Gronk later went on Kelsey podcast New Heights in January 2023, where he continued to commend him. He told Kelsey, Just know I'm appreciating your greatness and what you're doing for the position. You're getting the tight ends on the map. For Kelsey, it appears that feeling of admiration is mutual toward Gronkowski. Even when playing against him in the 2021 Super Bowl, Kelsey admitted, per Sports Illustrated, He's going to go down in history as one of the best players that ever played this game. I might be one of the biggest Gronk fans out there, let it be told. Travis Kelsey decided to cash in on his widely known fashion sense by launching his own clothing line, True Colors, in 2021. For the Kansas City Chiefs player, it was a no-brainer for him to work with clothing, considering that he told Forbes, I have fun in fashion. I love to pick a different outfit every single day. It's seemingly important to Kelsey that he is hands-on with the whole design process, too, instead of just slapping his name on someone else's work. The NFL star dished to Forbes, I have a lot of fun creating, especially with the different types of fabrics you can have, different types of looks. Kelsey doesn't just want his clothes to look good, though. He also wants them to mean something. He explained on the True Colors website, I think colors are a unique way to connect people and an amazing way to express yourself. The tight end reiterated to Forbes a similar sentiment when explaining why he called his line True Colors. I just want everybody to feel comfortable in who they are and showing their true colors and then appreciating everybody else's colors along the way. Travis Kelsey added podcast host to his resume in September 2022, when he started the New Heights show with brother Jason Kelsey. Travis told Forbes, It's been good to just have that set amount of time to be able to just sit down and chat. It seemed like a natural step for the brothers, who were apparently used to entertaining friends and discussing sports. Travis added to Forbes, It's like we're just kicking it at dinner back when we were in high school and college together. The Kelsey brothers are not only popular, but notoriously have very different personalities, which is why it made sense that Wave sports and entertainment would reach out to them to start a podcast. Travis told Forbes, We saw an open space to bring our unique point of view to a wider audience with the intention of sharing our authentic take on the NFL and the culture around it. As of February 2023, it appears that their podcast is already a hit, with other major athletes appearing on different episodes. In addition to Rob Gronkowski, quarterbacks and teammates Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts have also made appearances. Some episodes have even made headlines, like when Jason revealed that he and his pregnant wife were bringing their OBGYN to the Super Bowl in case she went into labor. Jason dished to Travis on the podcast, she's going to be 38 weeks pregnant at the game. That could be a super Kelsey Bowl if she has a baby in the stadium. If it's not obvious at this point that Travis Kelsey is close with Jason Kelsey, then his jersey might do the trick. Travis proudly wears number 87 in honor of his older brother, who was born two years before him in 1987. It may not have been something that Jason was aware of, however, as NFL Films captured the moment Travis told his bro about his tribute while on the sidelines. Travis gushed to his brother. I love you. You're the, the, reason, you're the only reason why I wear 87 anyway. <laughs> Never told you that, man. You started the legacy. Travis later reiterated why wearing Jason's birth year was so important to him, saying, If there is a Kelsey legacy, two brothers making it to the NFL, it all started in 1987 because this big guy was born in 1987. Jason, of course, seemed touched, responding, It's very cool, Trav. That wasn't the only time that Travis openly supported his brother either. In September 2022, he was spotted wearing a Philadelphia Eagles jersey at a game and at a bar in support of his brother's team. Jason returned the favor during the 2023 AFC Championship game by rooting for Travis's team, the Kansas City Chiefs, when they were playing against the Cincinnati Bengals. Jason quipped, according to CBS News, I got a Kansas City sweatshirt I'm gonna wear for the next three hours, and then that's it for the rest of the year. It's extremely important for Travis Kelsey to give back. He told People, I care about my career and the legacy that I leave, but I do know that I have the opportunity to relate to a lot of people in this community. And with that, I think it's a bit of a responsibility to do the right things. 
The Kansas City Chiefs tight end does just that through his charity, which he launched to provide underprivileged youth with life skills training. He explained to People, it's just an unbelievable organization that's going to help out kids and give these kids opportunities to keep getting better in the careers that they want to. Kelsey was also part of the 2022 Lowe's Home Team, a group of NFL players working on projects to better their communities. Per Fox 4, Kelsey volunteered to clean up and renovate a community art space in Kansas that October. He told Fox 4, seeing little pockets of the community like this supporting each other is absolutely amazing. Kelsey later created a health and wellness endowment for student athletes at his alma mater, the University of Cincinnati, as he understands the pressures they face. He told USA Today, it was an emotional roller coaster at times dealing with my academic responsibilities and holding my own on the field. All in all, Travis Kelsey is clearly a talented football player, but it's who he is off the field that makes him a true winner to fans.